In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're talking about working on our grape arbor. Well, today, I'm gonna to work on my grape arbor. It's uh, March. I should have done this in February, but you know, tell God your plans and he'll find something else for you to do. But it's Sunday, March the 10th, and I generally don't like to get out here and work on a Sunday afternoon. But uh, tomorrow I gotta have oral surgery, so I gotta have a tooth cut out. I'm dreading it. But if I wanna get this done and get it on video, I probably need to do it today. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do now, when I built my arbor, I cut down a little uh, black cherry tree. And uh, of course, the bark's peeling off here. And I took the bigger limbs and I made a grape arbor with them. Now that was three years ago. Well, four years ago. And it, they're sagging a little, okay? The posts are sagging a little bit. Uh, the grape arbor needs to be up some. You know, the grapes are wanting to touch the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and try and pull these a little tighter. But I'm going to go in between each one of these posts. Now, eventually, I'll have to replace these. These were, like I said, they were an old black cherry. And what they wind up being is I knew they were only going to last for maybe three years. Well, they've lasted four, and I think I might get another year out of them because this one's still got a good solid footing. Now the one down to lower end may not. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive in some T-posts and raise the grape arbor up in between these regular posts that have leaned a little bit. And that will uh, help get the grapevines up again like they're supposed to be. Now these will continue to lean a little bit and but I'm looking at getting this year and then I'll have to replace uh, part of these wooden posts. Okay, I'm going to get at it. When I moved here, there was a fence line that had a lot of T-posts in, old T-posts. So I'm never going to throw that kind of stuff away. I pulled them up all out of the ground. I've used them for a ton of stuff. And it had this uh, electric wire on it. It also had some electro braid. And I've kept all of that. So I'm going to get started. And all you have to do is you want to drive a T-post uh, even with your grapes. Now what's happened is this arbor is all pushed that way because the grapes have rode it over. So we're going to take and, and put this up and then we're going to pull them, pull those back. Oh. Once you got the post in, you can take a piece of wire. They make clips, but I'll just be honest with you. It's just easier to use a piece of wire than it is to fool with the, fool with the clips. So I'm going to cut me off a good piece of, of wire, which didn't cost me nothing. It was already here when we bought the property. Cut that off. Now pull my trellis up here. Pull my arbor up. Oh, come on, baby. And then get it tied to this post so that it can't slide down. Sometimes. These will hold on so tight that they don't want to let go. All right. Start twisting that. Now I need to get my pliers. And these T-posts, they have a uh, little nubs here, and that allows you 
to twist them up, twist this wire up and hold it within the nubs. I should have brought my other pliers, but I didn't. Well, I cut it. That's just peachy. Okay, that's not going nowhere. It's going to hold right up there. And I will modify the grape structures in order to come up and fit on that smooth. So let me get another wire. this other one up. Go. Pull it up to about there. Get it wrapped a couple times. That'll hold that up. And that gets my trellises, my grapes, up off the ground. Now I've got to do this between each one. So I've got one, two, I've got three T-posts to put in. And the uh, wires to pull up. And I'll go ahead and get at that.
Okay, folks, so that's got our grape arbor reinforced. Some of these posts are getting a little loose. I might have to reinforce them some more as the year goes on. But that's got them all reinforced and pulled up in the centers between the posts. The posts are about 20 feet apart each. So that makes them 10 feet between posts. I might have to come back and put posts in beside these posts. But that's what, that's what happens uh, when you use what you can find but these posts didn't cost me nothing and neither did the wire here it was already on the property so didn't cost me nothing to make this grape arbor now sometime this week after i have the surgery i'm going to try and get you a video on how to prune these four-year-old grapevines but depends on how i feel i might not feel like talking to nobody tomorrow but we've got a couple three days of uh, good weather and I may get to may get to that and show you how I'm going to try and start another set of grapevines so if you like this kind of stuff come on out subscribe uh, hit the bell and it'll tell you uh, when a new video comes out and even if you don't like what I have to say I'm not gonna get mad at you just click the I don't like button and everything's okay so I'll see you in the next video because it's time for me to get on to the next thing